The following feature presentation contains discussions of racism and a depiction of said racism. Fewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to Kitty Treats, the show where I cannot remember what the original premise of this show was, so I tend to make stuff up for the intro. This video will be an expansion on a blog post I made recently. So, if you have not read this post yet, then I highly recommend that you do so, link in the description. Because this video will probably make no sense unless you know what Sinterklaas is and what the racism of this tradition entails. Because this is a highly specific Dutch subject, I will be creating Dutch subtitles for this video. Something I am probably gonna regret when I finally get to edit this video later on. Anyway, in general I like to keep this kind of stuff on my blog, since it's a lot easier for me to talk about subjects like this in a text format. However, I feel that this subject needs an addendum. You see, I also like to come up with solutions to problems. Not an easy task, I know, but I always found that an analysis that only identifies the issues with something is a bit incomplete. So today I want to make a proposal for a potential solution regarding Swarte Piet. Now obviously Swarte Piet needs to go. The thing is racist as hell and should have been yeeted out of Dutch society a long time ago. There have been some minor changes in this regard, in the form of color peats and suit peats, but honestly I am not a big fan of them. They keep the racist clothing and the general racist aesthetic of peats remains intact. Activist groups like Kick Out Swarte Piet seem to agree with me on this one, since they still demonstrate at these e events even when they are color peats or suit peats. So Pete needs to go, but the good old Sint, or Saint Nicholas, still needs a helper or assistant. Now luckily for us is the solution plain and simple. You see, the Netherlands and Flanders aren't the only places where they celebrate Sinterklaas. It's also celebrated in parts of Germany, Switzerland, Austria and the Czech Republic. And most of them have an entirely different tradition in this regard. Saint Nick is still Saint Nick, but he also has a group of beings that help him with his work of delivering presents to the people and punishing those who dare to be naughty. Namely, demon goat personas. I mean Compass. So Compass fulfills a bit of a different role as opposed to Pete. You see, Compass isn't concerned with giving candy and presents to people. But rather, he punishes the wicked with coal and beats them with his bundle of twigs. Now, Zwarte Piet used to have this aspect as well, but this got slowly toned down throughout the 20th century, probably because beating children became less acceptable. While I don't think that a modern compass should beat children, I think that a combination of his frightening visage and the gift-giving aspect could be combined to give him a dual role in this regard. It can teach children not to judge a book by its cover. Plus, I think that Compass looks cool as heck. Now, I can already hear you think. Wait a minute, Pim. Are you trying to sneak ancient, pagan, pre-Christian traditions into my wholesome Christian festivity? And the answer to that would be yes. Yes, I am. I know that there are Christians in the Netherlands that object to having quote-unquote heathen elements in their festivities. But honestly, their objections don't really concern me, since if they really cared about this kind of stuff, then they would not celebrate Christmas in December, or drag a tree into their house every winter. You think Joseph and Mary had a fucking pine tree in their little stable when Jesus was born? Yeah, I thought not. Christianity and its many sects has all, have always adopted local pre-Christian elements to blend in better with the local population and this has given a rise to a large variety of syncretic festivities. Compass is not different from something like Halloween in this regard. Speaking of which, the Dutch Reformed Church has fought really hard to keep Halloween out of the Netherlands because of its perceived heathen elements, and I hate them for it, because I fucking love Halloween, and I prefer it over basically every Dutch festivity. 
If we ever somehow manage to introduce Compass into the Netherlands, then I suspect them to complain about this as well. Another thing you could say would be, isn't Compass a bit frightening for kids? And to that I would say, eh, maybe? I feel that many people often overestimate the ability of kids to be frightened of something. Most kids, especially nowadays, are more likely to find him to be a cool figure as opposed to be scared of him. I suppose it is kind of comparable to Halloween in this regard. Some kids might be frightened by him, but I doubt many of them will be. Besides, it cannot be worse than those goddamn parade cards you see with Carnival over here. In conclusion, I think that replacing Pete with Compass would honestly be the best option. It fits the team of Sinterklaas better, looks cool as fuck, and most importantly, Compass is not an extremely racist stereotype. Plus, you know, I could finally live out my dream by dressing as a pagan demon and scaring the fuck out of people. Either way, whatever the future will bring us, I thank you all for watching or listening to my admittedly very short kitty treats. And I hope you all have some wonderful holidays. See ya!